Today we're going to take you to the pinnacle of the high artistry world with the limited edition collections of David Oscarson. Hi, I'm J.D. Bank, publisher of The Circle magazine, and welcome to another episode of What's on My Desk. Uh, in this uh, series, I try to bring to you pieces that you may not encounter uh, at your local pen shop or, or even at local boutiques. Um, I try to use my, uh, my position here as publisher of the Circle magazine uh, to give you access uh, to some of the finest uh, fine writing instruments uh, in the industry. And uh, fortunately, some of them are uh, passing across my desk. So uh, this is my opportunity uh, to give you an insight uh, into this wonderful industry. Uh, today we are going to showcase David Oscarson's writing instruments and I have two of them here to show you. Uh, the first one is the Romanov collection which celebrates the centennial of the end of the Romanov dynasty. Like all other David Oscarson creations, this collection began as a solid rod of sterling silver. Uh, hand engraved uh, in the traditional manner, uh, the silver becomes etched with uh, uh, engravings in three levels of relief that reflect the light uh, like the kind of artistry work that you would find on a watch dial. After the engraving process, glass, metal oxides and water are ground by hand with a mortar and pestle. After uh, that grinding process, the paste that results, which is the basis for hard enamel, is applied to the cap and the barrel with a quill. Following that application, uh, the barrel and the cap with that hard enamel paste is fired at 1000 degrees Fahrenheit in a kiln. Any air bubble trapped in the hard enamel as it cools can cause it to explode, which means that the craftsmen and the craftswomen uh, at David Oscarson's shop have to begin the process all over again. Uh, after firing, the hard enamel is ground by hand with a diamond file, uh, after which another layer of hard enamel is applied to the pen in order to build up the layers uh, of uh, opaque and translucent hard enamel. This process is repeated 20 times uh, and uh, produces a depth and a richness uh, that is uh, unique to David Oscarson's creations. Uncapping uh, the pen reveals a solid 18 karat gold nib made in Heidelberg, Germany. The nib is two-toned, uh, rhodium plated, and uniquely it is stamped with David Oscarson's logo, not only laser engraved, which is a nice touch. Uh, un uh, unscrewing the section reveals uh, O-rings, uh, and David Oscarson's pens uh, are designed to be filled with an eyedropper. Uh, as well as a cartridge or converter and uh, comes equipped with uh, cartridges uh, and a converter. Moving on from the coronation egg themed Romanov collection, we now move on to another collection inspired by the work of Fabergé. Uh, this is from David Oscarson's Reflections collection and it features the winter pattern uh, which is inspired of course by the uh, Fabergé winter egg. A showcase of David Oscarson's skill at using hard enamel and guilloche to create depth, evoking almost a diorama with uh, three-dimensional aspects rather than just a painting on the flat surface of a pen. The Reflections collection uh, come in ballpoint pen and are slightly smaller than David Oscarson's fountain pens. Uh, they are a little more versatile if you want something that you can put in your pocket and take to a business meeting without drawing too much attention to yourself, although of course they do draw a lot of attention uh, just by the nature of the, uh, the light that plays off the surface of the hard enamel and guilloche finish. 
Uh, the Reflections Collection also allows a wider variety of collectors to add a David Oscarson limited edition to their collection. Uh, but most of all, uh, it is another format for these extraordinary patterns and designs. Well, thank you for joining me for another episode of What's on My Desk. For more of our content, you can visit us at www.theartofconnoisseurship.com and I invite you to join our international community of creators and collectors. You can find us on Facebook and the group is called Connoisseurs. There you can meet creators like David Oscarson, you can meet other collectors as passionate as yourself, and you're welcome to show your own collections and give your own reviews and share them with our larger community. Thank you very much for joining us and I hope to talk to you there.